Just months after the tragic case of Andrew Dawson, another TikToker has posted a video claiming to see a giant open a massive door in the side of a mountain. TikToker RBD Cell's video quickly went viral and is starting to gain traction across the entire internet. And just as many had predicted in the comments on the original post, it started to gain some unwanted attention as well. I promise you, you're going to want to stick around for this one. But before we start, y'all already know the drill. Oh, what right did this there. man see? That thing was open. It opened completely up, and then it closed back up. And there's a little slot in it right up there. You can see that little slot where it looked like somebody was staring out of. Dude, giants are freaking real. I don't care what anybody says. What do y'all think? What up, y'all? So, the gentleman in that previous clip is on TikTok, and he goes by at RBD Cell. Now, as you can see, his following is modest, so he isn't clout chasing. He lives in Oregon, and he was on Quartzville Drive when he saw, apparently, a large stone door open up and close real quick. Then, he saw eyes staring through slots in the stone. And as you can tell in the video, he doesn't seem to be making it up. He has a sense of urgency. He seems almost shocked at what he just may have witnessed. And of course, already everybody's in his comments section warning him to be careful. He may not want to dig too deep and he's not listening, which for us, that's awesome. But for him, well, only time will tell. We're going to go ahead and follow him along in this journey up to this point. So here's his next video. He's being very cool. Hey everybody, I'm just getting kind home from work. I've had to do a part two follow up on What's the doorway I found up in the hills. Part two. Uh, we're headed up there this Saturday. I got some guys with me. We're going to go up there. We got to park, hike about three miles back, and then go up in the hills, probably this about two or three miles, Saturday. to drop down on top of that. It looks like there's a big flat kind of rock walkway that's up there on the edge that I can get to it. Um, there's probably another hole in the back. I don't know. But we're going to go up there and do it Saturday. And that's going tomorrow for, it, for us. He's going for it. Uh, 10 28. 10 uh, once we so. get back down, I'll get the videos uploaded. I'll give the location where it's at so you can come see it for yourself. Make your own assumptions, man. Uh, saw what I saw. I believe saw what I believe. Saw. Yes, everybody who's asked me to be safe, watch my back, looking for odd cars. Obviously. Yeah, pretty intense. Anyways, pretty intense. check it out. I'll get everything uploaded as soon as I can. Check you later. There you have it. That's part two. All right, y'all. Here's his third post on the subject. Does he confirm that he's being followed? All right, y'all, listen. Everybody. Um, I just want to say, hey, I'm alive and well. Um, just kind of staying low-key for a while. So I appreciate everybody reaching out and the care and concern. I'll just jump into it. Yes, we did go Saturday. Uh, we took off in a group. Along the way, on the way up there, I guess I should say, uh, the, the group dropped off. We were followed by two white government trucks that the wife and I took off up in the hills, and we did lose and come back down. We made it some quick videos government. of the shape and the object of the rock or whatever you want to call it, you know. Um, I know what I think it is, but it's 60 to 80 feet tall, 60, 80 feet across at a wedge shape. Wow. All the other rocks have a different formation. This rock, this looks like it was just set in there. So you make your own decision on that. <clears throat> so we went and hid the truck and we took off our hike up the hillside. We did hike the whole hillside to the very top of that. It was uh, interesting, I'll say that. Uh, some things happened on our way up there. It's kind of kind of creeped me out a little bit. But uh, once we got up there on our way back down, there were some things that happened. Like, a, we'll say a big limb just happened to randomly fall far, far away from a tree, and a huge rock rolled down the hill, and anybody that knows, uh, knows my wife is very black and white, and if you listen carefully, you can hear what she says, and you can, you can see her crying, so on our way back down, something happened, and we ended up running, anybody that knows me knows it, my old butt don't run, anyways, will I go back, no, um, will I take somebody else up there, no, um, I can tell everybody where it's at, if you DM me, I, I don't, that's about it, um, anyways, we've just been staying kind of low key, um, when I wake up in the morning, and I'm going, this is what I run into, it's down the road and then sometimes it's up the other side of the road and sometimes it just follows me around town oh and there's a white truck that does the same thing um i'm not feeding into cons conspiracy theory stuff i'm just not that type of person i have fun with it sometimes theory, but, you know everybody can make their own decisions i just wanted to jump on here and say, say to everybody thank you i'm alive and well i will work on getting the video so i can post it and uh let's go from there um 
keep keep the adventures up everybody keep going in the woods keep doing your thing everything's out there it's a whole new world thank you wow all right night god folk this shit went from zero to a hundred real quick being followed by the government already he really didn't even see or post a video of any giant whatsoever he's making staunt claims now all they're doing by doing this is validating his claim in fact. I got to give it to him though. This is a brave man right here. Still willing to give out the location to anybody who DMs him. Still willing to post a video. Bro, you are for the people. He did go ahead and post one more video on his account. Here it is. Watch the trees that are knocked down, the foliage. It looks like just something almost massive has gone through there. Just a hunch, just a theory, but check it out, y'all. All right, fam, here it is. Everybody, so uh, here's part three of the video. We are up here. We're going to hike down the road. We're going to get up there. We're going to get what we need to get done. It's about a mile back, two miles up or whatever. we got to cut across. Um, right now, the building's right above me. we got a bunch of people that are going to go with us. Most of them have dropped out on us. Um, we did pass two white government trucks about three miles back. Uh, kind of makes me wonder. But anyways, as of right now, uh, the doorway is up there. And uh, what we're going to try to do is just get around there, get up there. I have my wife with me, so she'll be doing a lot of recording. And we'll just go from there. As of right now, we're going to head down the main road. And, uh, we're just start going. Those I gotta free. say, oh, wifey is a trooper. Kudos. Look at all the foliage knocked down. The trees. I'm not safe for this. Okay, so we're uh, almost at the top. I need lifelight to get my old ass out of here. Let me flip you guys around. Right there. There's a big old flat spot right up there. It goes up over that way. Ready, babe? Let's get going. She's like, nah. Do you hear that? Yeah, but that was a big film. Hmm. What? I'm not dying over some cave. All right, so we're right. We gotta go right over there. So we just gotta get back on the trail, hit up that gigantic hill right there, cross over, and we're gonna start dropping down. If we can, I don't know if we can or not. But there's a big, hefty trail that uh, we're running up to here, though. Well, I say we're we're doing it. We're uh, I'm almost to the top. Start going down the other side. Wife over here. She's done. She's done. Stop right there. She's gonna be sitting on that. Here we go. Whew. All right, we made it up here. I'm gonna head over up there. She's the wife decided to join me after I told her watch out for the cougars. Right now, I think she's the only cougar up here. So, watch out for cougars. okay, well, we're here. There's no way I'm getting down there without a rope or anything. This is just uh, steep beyond steep. And right here, we gotta go down there, cross through there. It is narrow and it's slick. This was slick right here. So, we're gonna go back here a little bit, try to work our way around right here, see if we can see. see. I don't even want to leave. Did you hear that? Yeah, well, Grind's not gonna help. All right, we're, we're up. We're, we're, there is just something. Anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna head down, and I'll make another date. Anybody wants to come with me, can come on the road, come with me. Anyways, we're gonna start getting out here. Go ahead, babe, let's go. I'm gonna go this way. Just follow that little trail. I'm fine. I don't know what that was. Okay, same thing. I swear to God, we're watching you, dog. Go. Oh, shit. What? there you have it that's how he ended it that's the last video on his page yeah he may be acting it up a little bit for views but he may not be hopefully we get an update soon. all right my people the first thing we got to do is talk about where he believes this entrance is just check out this said structure you can see plain as day it looks as though it's some sort of entrance into what was maybe at one time a temple of some sort take a look you got one leg Another leg, almost as if it could have been some sort of sphinx-like creature. Who knows? But you can even see in the next pictures I'll show you, it looks as though there's something on top of said structure. And then, there's your door. And I'll show you something about that here shortly. And let us not completely ignore the nostril, nostril, mouth, nostril, nostril, mouth. I don't know. Maybe I'm reaching. But in these next images, I feel like this is all but a naturally forming structure. Just take a look. For one, the door. Check it out. The eye even has a nose and a mouth. I'll zoom in. There you have it. Eye, you can even see the start of one on the other side, nostril, mouth. Now, does this look like a natural, normal, well, what we consider normal human to you? Or does it kind of resemble something else? Pointy chin, bigger eyes, small nose, small mouth. It almost looks extraterrestrial. Moving on. Notice the feathers on the sidewall there. It looks like rows of feathers. 
Again, if we take the time to really zoom into the structure and look at it, you can see possible head shape, head shape, along with many other odd shaped structures surrounding it. I think we could come to the conclusion, and it's safe to say that this is all but a natural forming structure. It could be hundreds of thousands of years old. It is absolutely ancient. So I do believe that it's very, very possible this guy did see something that day, that that door does open, but you either got to know what button to push or you got to be a giant strong enough to move it. And then of course where the eye hole is, you have a way to look out and see before you come out from underground. It's just very telling that it seems like government entities are now following this guy. I really hope he's safe. He really needs to err on the side of caution in this situation. It's not worth it. Well, there you have it, fam. If anybody knows what happened to them too, please do let me know in the comments or send me a message. They kind of left it wide open. You know, the only thing that has me sussing on the whole situation was that last video. Either it's a total act and they're doing it to garner views and attention or maybe something happened to them already. Who knows? I mean, to leave it wide open like that and it's just 15 hours ago, it's kind of messed up if you're just faking it, to be honest. But hopefully we figure out what's going on soon. Crazy stuff, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm looking forward to seeing what y'all have to say about it. Stay in love, stay in light, be kind to others. I hope you had a good weekend. I hope y'all had a good weekend. I am out.